Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go back to DX9 if you updated your game recently and it pushed you to DX11 with the recent update that um, basically fucked everything up. So if you're like me and had absolutely no idea that this was even going to be the case, um, I updated my game thinking, okay, great, we've got performance issues updating and, you know, fixing a lot of stuff. Awesome. Well, turns out it pushed everybody who has an NVIDIA graphics card and I believe something else to DX11. Now, that being the case, DX11 basically is just like a higher performance, so that's great. However, a lot of custom content, and again, if you're like me and have a ton of custom content, it's not optimized for DX11, so people are getting these like perpetual loading screens that just keep going and going and going and they can't load into houses, or maybe it corrupts their game or corrupts a save file. And so the only way to avoid that is to either not play with CC. You can batch fix um, on The Sims 4 Studio there's an option that says to update images for DX11. I personally have not done that, um, but I know a couple people who have, and they said that it fixed it, and then some said that it didn't, so I don't know. I would try it if you want to go to DX11. Um, however, if you don't wanna deal with that, or if you kinda just wanna go back to how it was, I'm gonna show you how to do that, and it's very simple. Um, you can either do it within your game or in the uh, launcher. So I actually can't show you in game because my game for whatever reason does not have the option to check on and off direct nine. Now, if you have, I heard if you had an Nvidia, I'm sorry, a Intel GPU, it would not show up. However, I have Nvidia and it still doesn't show up for me. But if it shows up for you, you can hit escape, go into your game options, and then over on the right hand side, kind of at the bottom, there'll be a little option that says direct nine. And if you check that, then your game will constantly upload and uh, restart in direct nine. So if that's the case and it's super easy for you, that's how you do it. And that's great. Um, if you don't and you're like me, I'm gonna show you how to do it within your launcher. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up The Sims 4 in your EA app, you know, the app that we all are obsessed with and love so much. And you go into your game and you click on manage. And then from there you go to view properties and then you'll have this little pop-up window and where it says advanced launch options, you just type in minus DX nine. Now that means that every time you boot up your game, it will boot up in DX nine. However, if you repair your game or if there are any other updates, you need to do this again. So that's the only thing that's kind of annoying. Sometimes I've forgotten and then I'll load in and then I'm like, oh, I got to restart and blah, blah, blah. So just kind of make it a habit of checking it every time you're going to, you know, restart your game, which I know sometimes is a pain in the ass, but it's worth it. Now, the other issue is if you use G Shade. So when we updated the game and it pushed us to DX11, G Shade all of a sudden did not bring up its main panel into the game. That's because when you downloaded G Shade originally, you did DirectX 9 and then it switched to DirectX 11. And so if your game is X11, your G Shade panel will not show up in game if it's X9. So I'm gonna show you how to change that and you can go back and forth if you wanna go back to nine or 11. It's extremely easy and it's with the G Shade launcher. Um, if you have Reshade, I'm not exactly sure if that will work or how it will work, um, but I'm gonna show you G Shade because that's what I have personally and that's what I did. Okay, so you're gonna bring up the G Shade launch panel or the control panel, and all you do is you go into installs and then you hit add. And when you hit add, you'll find the Sims and then you click direct X nine and you hit okay and everything. And it will change out the file path for you. And it will automatically be changed to direct X nine. Now, when you go back into your game, it will act as if it's like a new program. So you basically have to do the shift backspace uh, to open it. Or sometimes I think people said it was shift F two or something. Uh, you open that up and then change back your settings and then everything will be fine. Now, if you want to change your game to 
uh, DX11, you need to do the same thing with the launcher to change it to DX11. So same thing, you hit add, you find the game, and then all you do is choose DX11, and then everything will work just fine. And hopefully um, you will have a beautiful G-Shade panel along with your game. And um, always when you do anything where you're changing the G-Shade to sh have it basically be like a new program, just double check your settings, make sure that your paths are correct on your um, shaders and textures and all that stuff because sometimes it can redo that. And um, other than that, it should work just fine. So hopefully that solved everything for you. I have been troubleshooting this for about two and a half days. I had an issue where um, I had not updated G-Shade in about a year. And so when I updated it, it broke some shaders. So I have been having a great time troubleshooting, <laughs> but I'm glad that I figured it out so I could share it all with you. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are around this big, beautiful world. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.